Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Hillis International Hotel. My name is Edward. I'm your training manager. Uh, I will be in charge of the training today. Uh, what's your name? My name is Sark. Uh, nice to meet you, Sark. Uh, please have a seat. Thank you. So, before we start the training, I have a few questions for you. Uh, I read through your resume. I understand you will graduate from Hillis University. So, I assume that you have already uh, set your training once or twice before. Yes. And, uh, which hotel you do your training for? Uh, in JW Marriott. So, okay, so uh, there is a Shanghai outlet in the JW Marriott. Have you ever worked in there, that department? No, not yet. Okay, so do you uh, ever work in a food FMB department? I or did some so part time jobs. Part time, so it's like. Uh, so do you have folding napkins in the during your work? Ah, uh, yeah, just a bit. Okay. So uh, today our training is about nap napkin folding in a high turnover restaurant. Do you know what is high turnover restaurant? I have no idea. Okay. So the high turnover restaurant means like you can just understand like the peak hour of the restaurant will be very large volume of guests coming in. So we need to get everything done very efficiently. So the net people in a high to know a restaurant need to be very fast. So we just use some very simple way to fold the net key. So um, here is your lesson plan for today. And uh, uh, after the training, you will be you should be able to learn three to four methods of holding the net in a low to know, uh, high to know a restaurant. So uh, during your study in the Taylor's University, have you ever learned any methods of folding napkin? Uh, candle only. Only the candle? Yeah. Okay, so maybe you can demonstrate for me. Okay. That's correct, but some improvements can be made. First of all, you need to remember every time you start folding the napkin, you need to hide the label side inside. Oh. So our guests should never see the label from the our napkin. Okay. So you start from the side with the label, and the first step you fold the triangle. That's correct. And after one folding, I saw you flip over the napkin, which is correct because it will make the bottom firm and you are rolling very big so maybe you can try to roll the the wow. bottom smaller because that would be make your candle easier to stand on the table So this is the easiest way to fold the napkin mm -hmm. and uh, you tuck in, open the flame, it's a perfect candle. Mm -hmm. So that's our first method of folding the napkin. The second one I will teach you is the bishop head, which is also very easy. We start from the label side, mm -hmm. we fold it into half. From the right side, you find the roughly middle point. From the top to bottom, you fold it down. And from the left, you do the exactly same, a different uh, opposite thing. And then your napkin should be look like this. Then you flip over the napkin. 
lift up one side and you can see one point was hiding under the napkin so you pull it out and you open the side which the side you just pull out you open it first find the middle point of the side roughly you don't have to do exactly the middle mm. so fold it and then you get this side back that's half done of the head and you flip over the napkin you fold again just tuck into the pocket and you open it it's a big sharp head okay so you can demonstrate Yes, it's correct. Uh, during the folding, during your folding, you find uh, some steps you just jump through, and uh, you miss some steps, and uh, you eventually you thought them up, but you just follow the sequence. That would be easier for you to remember them, and so you don't have to confuse about how to make the things move. Okay. Okay. So the third one, the maybe it's the last one for today. It's a little bit tricky than the other two. The other two are really easy. We can call them napkin 101, but this one is a bit tricky. So same thing, you start from the label side, fold the quarter from the bottom, do the same thing from the top, and you can always adjust the position. Just leave a small gap between two foldings. And then you close them up. And this method is requiring us to fold it eight times. So, and they all have to be equally same size, roughly, not exactly. So, uh, there's no way for us to measure or something. So we can just use a simple method. You fold the napkin half first, and only one side. You fold half again, and then half again. So that's roughly eight. And every time you fold, you need to flip the napkin over. So just flip, uh, folding, fold them accordingly eight times. So, and then you, your napkin should be like this. You can hold the napkin with your thumb and your index. You can see some point in each side. Just pull them up. Okay, gently pull them up. While you are pulling out the point, you still need to maintain the shape of the napkin. Okay, so we got three points here. For the other side, we do the same thing. Pulling out the feet. Don't hold your napkin too tight, it will be difficult to pull, pull out the points. And when you are feeling the napkin is losing, maybe you can adjust the position of your finger to hold them.
this method is called the double fan. It's not easy, but you can just try it. Good, but uh, still, uh, when you are pulling out the points, your finger are like very holding very firm to the napkin, so it makes some difficulties to you to pull them out. Mm -hmm. So just make yourself easier. You can just lose them. Mm -hmm. And but this one is good. And okay, that's the all three methods we teach today. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Uh, uh, I think um, why we choose this kind of material, the polyester, right? Yeah, why we choose our this? napkin in our restaurant, we all use the polyester napkin because compared to other materials like cotton, uh, linen, or even paper, paper, uh, paper suit, we the polyester is harder than the others. And uh, because our restaurant, when we are folding the napkin, we always use certain shapes. We will fold the napkin into certain forms. Mm -hmm. So this kind of material can help us to make the napkin to form the shape easier compared to the others. Cotton is so soft, silk, same as the silk. And uh, the paper tissue is not environment, which is one-time disposal. After you use one time, you have to throw them. So the cost will be higher. And other other questions? Um, okay. So, what do you think about the training? Um, well, I think I have learned uh, many kinds of uh, napkin folding, and I think well, I'm not that uh, good in napkin folding now. I think I still need some practice. Okay. So. For well, what I can see through the training, you are very fast learner. You can get all the methods one time. I only demonstrate one time and you can follow up. And there's one thing we are missing in the training is when we are, how do we store the napkin? Oh, yeah, how we, keep, the, how we keep the shape. Yeah. So you, you notice that all the restaurants have a sidebar, so we will keep the all the napkin inside the sidebar. So a uh, while before the guest coming. So the simple shape like the candle and the bishop head, we will just leave them lying down in the closet. For the bishop head, we just put them in a flat shape. So for the double fan, it's a little bit tricky. We need to hold them and uh, just close them to the previous shape. 
and we can just store it with the concept. Okay, so that will be all for our training today. The next training will be after two weeks, and uh, I hope you can practice all what we learned today. And uh, before the next training starts, we will be examining your progress on the net importing for these few methods. Okay. And the ne next next training is about how to put the net in a, a low turnover threshold. So that means the method will be more complicated, mm -hmm. which uh, will be take more efforts to get started. Okay. Thanks for joining the training today. Thank you so much. Thank you.